And now with an amazing new weight loss discovery, here's our science correspondent, Bruce Mahler, with Science in the News. Welcome, Bruce. I have to say that there have been so many fad diets and, and quick loss weight programs. Now, what makes your program so different? Right. Well, because, Melanie, mine is the first to advocate the loss of weight by the consumption of food in gaseous form. Food in, in gaseous form? Yes, Mel. Allow me to, uh, to demonstrate this here now, okay? Now. <laughs> now, Melanie. Let's share a vaporized pizza, okay? <laughs> That's not a pizza, Bruce. <laughs> yes, it is, Melanie. Through a chemical oxidation process, this pizza has been uh, converted to its gaseous form and put in this balloon. Here, Melanie, have some. It's pepperoni. It doesn't taste like pepperoni. <laughs> well, the thing is that since helium is used in the process... <laughs> The taste becomes slightly altered. Well, wow. I'm sorry, Bruce. I just don't enjoy sucking pizza out of a balloon. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's try a big potato. Get a little start. But how does the usage of helium? How does that help you lose weight? Because, Melanie, this makes you lighter. Now, stand on this scale, and I'll show you what I mean. All right. On the scale, okay? Sorry. Okay. Now, have a little more potato. Oh. <laughs> well, this is amazing. It's just like in a carnival balloon when you let go. You know, you just fly up from here and get lighter. <laughs> you see, after a meal of pizza and potatoes, you only weigh about 23 pounds, Melanie. Okay, save some room. We're gonna have some dessert in a moment. Oh, I'd love some ice cream. Come on, get me down to eight pounds, then I can eat all I want. Mm, that's not bad. See, Mel, this works. It's in gaseous form, and you're at about eight pounds now, and, uh... I may disappear soon. No, no. I think they want you down the nose now. They oh, want you to wrap it. Okay, I know, let me try to... Have a hell of a good weekend. This has been a Friday edition special report with Melanie Charcoff.